Richard Rell is here with columnist Bob Robb, uh, separated still by fiat of our bosses, not so much the governor or the mayor. I mean, geez, masks, uh, parks, there's these politicians sniping at each other. Uh, what to make of it? What is going on with these differing policies and these online feuds between, most notably, Governor Ducey and Mayor Kate Gallego of Phoenix? Uh, that politicians are politicians uh, and political considerations enter into everything that they do. And it's sort of ironic and amusing for Kate Gallego uh, to play politics uh, by accusing Governor Ducey of playing politics uh, over COVID-19 and saying that, as she did, um, he cares less about uh, the people of Arizona than about his political future. Well, um, the accusation is, is that he's catering to the populist elements in the Republican Party who don't think that COVID-19 is a big deal and don't think government should be doing anything. Um, but that's not what Ducey has done at all. I don't doubt that political considerations in, enter into his decision making as it does with Gallego. Um, but he kept these business restrictions in place, which was the cause of this particular ruption um, for over a year. Uh, and uh, the populist element of the Republican Party who doesn't think government should do anything is furious with the guy. They, they introduced bills to uh, overturn his emergency uh, order and, and, and to strip him of his emergency powers. Um, so um, it shouldn't be surprising that politicians take into consideration um, political consequences of their actions. Uh, but the notion that Ducey is unique in the state of Arizona in doing that, and that those who are accusing him of doing it aren't guilty of the same thing uh, is both amusing and a little bit disappointing. Yeah, and I guess because it's not the doctors necessarily in charge, but the politicians that eventually have to make this decision weighing these competing elements of letting people get back to normal versus the danger of the virus. Is there a, is there a way this could have been done differently or because these are political folks in place, uh, are we just going to be divided on how we see uh, the reaction to a, a, the virus and, and the restrictions in place about it. G given that um, politics is a team sport in the United States, uh, I think there will always be a tendency of one team to criticize the other and the other one to counter punch. I do think that Ducey could have been uh, more inclusive uh, in his consultations as he went along and made his decisions. Uh, and uh, his critics among the politicians like Diego uh, could have been uh, less inflammatory um, when they disagree. Uh, and uh, we would be, uh, we probably wouldn't have much change in policy, um, but I think we would be in a healthier state of our politics with respect for dealing with COVID-19. As I point out in the column, when you get rid of all the politics, there's utterly no difference between Ducey and Gallego uh, and other politicians posturing over masks over what the policy should be. Um, those who want a mandate aren't willing to enforce it. Uh, so everybody's policy is everyone should wear a mask, uh, but we're not going to punish those who don't uh, or those who don't require others to do so. There's a consensus on that. Um, but uh, the team politics uh, and the posturing by all the various political officials have obscured that. We think there's this giant dispute over mask wearing in the state of Arizona, when in fact, there isn't. And I guess if they did get along, that would be bad for our business. We'd have less to talk about every week. Oh, we can manufacture other controversies, I'm sure. <laughs> or break down the Phoenix Suns game. Good to see you as always, Bob. <laughs> Good to see you.